So here we go. Got this little cute block we're going to work on. I think my plan is just to go around and then do something in the center. <laughs> is that vague enough? Here we go. So I've just switched out to this little, it's called the BFF ruler. It's by Linda Herka of the Quilted Pineapple. Oh, I think I want something. Like that in those blocks. And just switch them out. Keep them close and switch them out. You know, I wear these crazy looking overalls. And they have this funny like pocket that's built in, like apron pockets. And I fill those apron pockets up with rulers. And that is how I have them close by a lot of times. Not the most fashionable look around town, but you know, it works for me. So for this block, so far, I'm just using two rulers. There's the BFF ruler, and I like this one because you can use both sides of the curve. That's pretty handy. All right, so now we're back here, and something has to happen inside this design, I think. You know what? I think I'm just going to echo the inside and the outside. Free style that curve. Some of these blocks, you know, they really lend themselves to a lot of pretty fun quilting. And then others, you know, they just don't want to be quilted very much. You have to let me know in the comments if you want me to talk or just kind of be quiet. Sometimes I just really like to just watch people quilt. I think there's so much I can learn from just watching instead of listening to them talk. Isn't that terrible? Sometimes I just don't want to listen to anybody. All right, I think, oh, oops, about to leave this block without looking around this. I don't think I stitched the ditch of these little arcs. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go back and do it. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. Now it looks better. Perfect. All right. Let's truck on over to the next block. I'm going to move the camera Boop, so you guys can see nice. I lost my phone the other day, so I'm using my camera to film instead of my phone like I have been doing. All right, so what should we do in here? I kind of like the idea of trying to repeat these little melons in each of these blocks. That's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be so cute. Stitch our ditches. Let me 
see, do I have a curve that's about that? You know what, I think that, that the inside of this curve will be just about perfect. Let's see what we can do here. All right, this is a weird angle, but I don't know where I put my inside piece. That one didn't quite line up, did it? You know what? I'm not doing this right. Hmm. I'm doing them off. You know what? I'm going to come back to this guy later. Pick out those stitches because I'm not doing it right. I gotta think on this one. This one is a thinking one. I can't <laughs> do that one live. That one I gotta put some thought and work on too. All right, let's go to this one because this is gonna be easy. Got a stray thread here. Yeah, sometimes you just have to abandon the block and come back later. And that's okay. We're not perfect, being human beings and all. I guess if I wanted perfect, you know, I would have used my Statler computer. Because then, boy, you do get some perfect lines. And I like, you know, I like the look of hand-guided quilting. I'm going to just echo around the outside of this block. I think that'll be cute. Linda Herka's small ruler. Look at this one. Oh, I think we got applique next. Well, in a minute. So I can use my applique ruler then. I need to put something in there. But I'm just I'm just gonna do an X. X is a classic. And I'm sure that they quilted X's in 1863. Which is when this quilt came around. And you know what else I have noticed about this quilt? There are no log cabins. What do you think of that? I mean, log cabin, that's like my favorite block. But this quilt has not a one. I don't even know anything about the history of the log cabin block. It kind of started popping up in the 1860s. So, this might be a little early for that block to have appeared. Isn't that interesting? Obviously, Jane Stickle, the original quilt maker, worked on these blocks for a very long time. She liked melons. There's a lot of melons in this quilt. She liked square and a square. One more 
block and then we'll call this video done. Don't want to bore you guys with Dear Jane. You know, I'm really not a traditional quilter. I much prefer to quilt modern quilts. Personally, I find them a lot more fun to quilt, you know? But sometimes it's very hard to say no to a Dear Jane. They're just, they're just interesting, you know? And I've never quilted an ugly one. Even my the first couple ones I quilted so long ago. They turned out great too. But I don't need mean my quilting. I mean like I've never seen an ugly deer jane. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright. So that was pretty simple. All we did really is just stitch in the ditch. And then we added an extra line around that block. Now, and you'll probably notice that I have straight lines going in in the middle of the sashings. I still need to do that for these next couple rows. All right. All right, this is going to be our last one for this video. So gird your loins, y'all. This is going to be exciting. Here we go. So for this one... Where, where is my applique ruler? Aha! It's hard when they're clear. You can't see them. So this one, can you see that? It says App Deloa's Apple Guide. So this little tool was invented by Deloa Jones, who is an amazing quilter. And you just snap it on your foot like that, and you can kind of work around applique pieces. Now, I like to be closer to see it. The camera's kind of in the way, so let's see what we can do. So for this, you can really guide in close, close, close to applique. You can really guide that needle. And then you know, your quilting looks good. But obviously this is a slow going journey. And let's stop. I'm gonna pop this guy back on. I think I'm gonna just work all the way around first. Go ahead and echo inside this too. That'll be pretty. So you don't need the apple guide. You can use you know, the edge of a curve, of course, to work around these tiny melons. Oh, so whenever I hear the word melon, I think of my daughter. One day we were in the grocery store here in on Fort Leavenworth. And it was summer and they had this incredible, incredible selection of all these awesome heirloom melons. Crenshaw and all kinds of crazy ones. Well, I was carrying like two melons down the aisle towards my daughter who had our shopping cart and she looked up at me and just without missing a beat she goes nice melons mom and of course the commissary it's filled with people and everyone whips around to check out my nice melons and they got to see that it was just fancy heirloom melons it wasn't my bosom <laughs> I thought that was so funny. 
laugh and laugh. It was hilarious. So look at those nice melons we're doing here. And obviously I am just echoing this. I really want to find a block where I can do a cute feather or something. Every once in a while, some of these blocks will lend themselves to cute feathers. But not on this row yet. This video might be a little long. You can see how long it takes to quilt one of these quilts, right? This is no speed process at all. Oops. I'm stuck on the seam. There's a real high seam right there. And some of these pieces have, and some of these blocks have so many tiny pieces in them that their intersections can be pretty intense. We are done with that cute block, and I think I'm done with blocks right now. I don't want to bore y'all. Thank you for dropping by, and here, let's pan out so we can see what we've done. So, we got that one done. Focus, boom. We got that one, kind of simple. I got this Ohio star, or is that a sawtooth star? Done. I'm gonna come back to this one because I don't like what I did and I need to pick out stitches and that's boring to watch that happen. And here's the other one. Oh, oh, this one's kind of fun. We did some little fun swirly deals in that background. Oh, and this one I did loops. <laughs> See? Some of them lend themselves to a good time. They're, they're not all so straight and narrow. All right, well, y'all have a great day and check back soon for the next video.